Hey guys, Eddie here with HypaStore.com and today we're going to be talking about Hypa's very popular carburetor adjustment kit. In the last video we talked about the spark tester that came with this kit. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description or we'll put a link up here in the cards. The rest of the basic kit comes with a set of tools that will allow you to easily adjust your modern small engine carburetor. Most modern engines on things like trimmers, and blowers, and chainsaws come with a small carburetor that looks like something like this. Or maybe like this, with a bulb on it. There are other types, but nearly all of them share similar features and have similar adjustment. Now just like Hypus carburetors from the factory, these are pre-adjusted. However, over time the performance may degrade and the carburetor may need some adjustment. Now all small engine carburetors are going to have one particular adjustment that anyone can do very simply with a normal screwdriver and that is the idle adjustment screw which is right here on this carburetor and right here on this carburetor. Those are usually a Phillips head or a regular slotted screw. It's very simple to move those in and out and all they do is increase or decrease the RPMs at idle. However, there's two other adjustments that most carburetors, especially on your commercial carburetors, will have and that is two screws that are normally side by side, for instance on this and on this one. Now these screws may be blocked off by a rubber cap or a plastic cap or they may be open like they are here. On a lot of carburetors you're going to find though you need a special tool to be able to operate. In this case this is a spline tool that comes in the hypa kit and goes right in and attaches like that to the adjuster. On this other carburetor you see that you actually can do this with a slotted screwdriver. However the Hypa kit comes with a thin screwdriver to allow you to reach these because they're usually far into the engine. In this case the same spline tool we used before also fits this carburetor. The Hypa carburetor adjustment kit comes with a wide range of tools to fit the various types of adjustment you may find. So let's talk about what you're actually adjusting when you're doing this procedure. If you look very closely on this carburetor you may see an H right here on this side and an L on this side. What those denote is low and high. This other carburetor, however, is not marked. However, there's an easy way to tell once the carburetor is on the machine which is the low and the high. The low is always nearest the engine, the high is always nearest the air filter. So what are we adjusting when we adjust these? As I already mentioned, the idle screw will actually address your idle speed. That's your basically static idle speed. You're not pulling the trigger, you're not touching the trigger at all. The low adjustment will adjust from idle as you accelerate until you get to high speed. The high speed circuit then adjusts any performance above that, basically the max RPMs of your machine. And the high speed circuit actually will set the max RPMs of your machine. You need to be very careful when setting the high speed circuit. It can damage your machine if you set it too high. So it's always a good idea to have either a tachometer or if you're unsure, it's always better to set it a little bit lower than you think it should be and a little bit higher. So all machines and manufacturers are going to have a little bit different procedure of how you go about adjusting these. However, I can give you a few simple tips that apply basically to all machines. Now, before I do that, I will say that not all machines are this easy to adjust. Some lower end consumer grade machines will have adjustments that are hidden. And those machines can also be adjusted with the toolkit as well. And the procedure for those will be basically the same. However, I'm not going to go into those as much because in that case, it's better to look up information on your specific model. They may be hidden behind small plugs, small holes. And in this video, I'm really concentrating on just giving you an idea of how this works and how you can use the Hypa Toolkit to perform this task. So here we have a standard trimmer. First thing you want to make sure is that your air filter is in place and that whatever accessory that you were using for your machine is in place as well. For instance, the head on this trimmer will actually come off. It's a removable type. You do not want to do this with it off. Similarly, on a chainsaw, you would want the chain on and adjusted properly. You want to make sure that your string is all the way out at its normal operating distance. So what you're going to see me do here, I'm going to start the machine, I'm going to let it warm up, then I'm going to adjust the idle screw until just as the trimmer head starts to move. Once I get that, I'm going to go to the low speed adjustment and I'm going to turn it in in very small increments waiting for the RPMs to rise.
and then I will turn it back out just to that point where it starts to slow down. And then rev it up a few times to make sure that it accelerates smoothly and is not bogging down at any point. Once you get that set, you can then move to your high speed. On the high speed side, you want to hold the trigger all the way down, and it's the same basic operation. You're going to turn the screw and listen for the RPM to increase. Once the RPM increases, you want to come back. However, as I said before, you want to err on the side of being too low RPM as it's too high, unless you have a tachometer. If you have a tachometer, you can set it to exactly what RPM the machine is designed to operate at. You can then at that point reset your idle speed adjuster. You may want to come down a little bit, but set it to where you're comfortable with it, where the machine will continue to run without the trigger being depressed and the head of the trimmer is not moving. Same with the chainsaw, set it down where the chain is stationary and the chainsaw will continue to idle without any trigger input. So this is by no means intended to be comprehensive. Getting a feel for adjusting a carburetor is as much an art as a skill and takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of experience. But I think you can see that the Hypo Carburetor Adjustment Kit Set is a great tool to have in your toolbox. So you can find more great products like this at hypostore.com. And as always guys, I appreciate you watching.